Good day and welcome back to another DBZ Doken Metal video. In this video we're going to take a look at the recently Easy Aid Super Saiyan 2 Tech Kaba who got his Easy A from the Extreme Z area for the Universe 6 Warriors. So Kaba is a pretty decent unit, he is a bond and of Master and Disciple lead of 77% and he raises allies defense by 30% while raising his defense for one turn. He has attack and defense of 120% when performing a super attack, plus an additional attack, defense and chance of performing a critical hit, plus 7% per Universal Survival Saga category ally on the team. He also will gain a 70% attack boost when there is an additional pure sand attacking in the same turn. So, and because he gets critical hit, if you're going to be solely using him on a Universal Survival Saga team, then you can pretty much just give him additionals. Uh, because he'll have a 35% chance to crit baseline from his passive. If you are looking to build him into a situation where he's usable on more teams, then going the traditional crit build will be the most important. In terms of his categories, they are fairly straightforward. Uh, we look at Universe Survival Saga, Universe 6, the Super Saiyan 2, Bond of Master and Disciple team, and we also have the Full Power team. Because his passive is only somewhat restrictive, because he gains a bonus from having Universe Survival Saga category allies, but his main attack bonus comes from having a Pure Saiyans ally attacking in the same turn, he's not so restricted that we can only use him on a Universe Survival Saga team. We can actually utilize him on various other teams to see him to great effect. So what we'll do here is we'll use him on a Universe Survival Saga team in the first situation. Uh, this will be his best team overall as he is receiving the full benefits of his passive that attack, defense and critical chance buff. And we'll be seeing him line up with some pretty good links overall. His links are pretty straightforward, Saiyan Lineage, Golden Warrior, Super Saiyan, Shattering the Limit, Warriors of Universe 6, and we also have, uh, yeah, well, I mean, pretty much the most straightforward links, Tournament of Power as well. Uh, Shattering the Limit gives him nice options in terms of Super Saiyan 2 teams and Pure Saiyans teams. We've got him linked up here with the Super Saiyan cover. He has 74,000 defense. That's pretty good considering he'll be gaining 120% defense upon firing a super attack. We have some support from the uh, Super Saiyan Kaba, but for the most part, not a bad rotation. Uh, because you need a pure Saiyan, we're also going to be getting the full benefit of his attack boost. And you can see there with his attack, it is 3 million pretty much. A uh, nice thing about that is he had literally a massive amount of chance to crit, which is very very good. Uh, and he also raised everyone else's defense by 30%. So that's a pretty big boost for units like Hit, especially if you're keeping them floating on the rotation. Because he gains his defense on super, uh, and because he raises his ally's defense, if you really want to benefit from him the most, you either put him in the first slot, where there is no at attacks against him before he fires his super attacks, or you're going to want to place him in the second slot, whereby he'll be able to essentially get off his super attack, thus boosting the unit that is floating on the rotation, uh, and he'll also be able to activate his full defense, uh, and you'll basically get a net increase in defense. If you put him in the floating slot, that's also fine, but just remember you're not going to basically be able to get the 30% boost for the rest of the rotation or at least one of the other members of the rotation uh, and that's a little bit of a shame. But for the most part, uh, pretty decent performance by Kaba there. Uh, his 74,000 defense will end up being pretty high once he fires off that super attack. Uh, you know, we're looking at anywhere between 150, 160,000 uh, before he raises defense on a super. So he should have a very, very solid defensive base once he basically gets going, which you know I think is pretty awesome. In this rotation, we're sitting at 86,000. That means his defense will be even higher. We're possibly looking at uh, a close to 200k situation, which is pretty good. 
uh, overall for the unit. It just means he is really solid defensively in his second and third slots, uh, which he needs because the stages that the Universe Survival Saga team can take on, it it's pretty nuts. Like, it's pretty nuts just overall, like, how the whole thing can go, uh, which is crazy. And 3.4 million attacks that uh, with over a 30% chance to crit, which is pretty awesome. Uh, so he can hit really hard. Uh, we did have double support there, which would explain why he did so well. Uh, in terms of links, he benefits quite a bit. Uh, Super Saiyan gives him a bit more attack. Uh, Warriors of Universe 6 and Tomb of the Power give him both a little bit of attack and defense. Uh, Golden Warrior, not too much. Saiyan Lineage, not too much. Uh, but overall, he yeah he gets a nice a little bit from his Link set. Nothing that's you know no big bad bosses or anything crazy like that or Saiyan Raw or or any of those super powerful links. But overall, he'll you know be be someone that benefits from link leveling. Uh, and he just looks pretty decent. Uh, yeah, I, I think he's pretty solid. Uh, he does some decent work. Uh, and yeah, just a very usable unit. Uh, someone I think you should be using if you like want to use him. Uh, he's very viable. And if you have a, a like hole in your Universe 6 team, then he's going to be a very solid unit at filling in uh, that missing unit that you need. So yeah, um, I'm very happy with his performance so far. Again here, we're sitting with 86,000 defense, uh, which is very, very good, of course. So that is fantastic. Uh, that second slot where he can thrive, uh, he'll boost Kale's defense by 30%. So he just looks very, very good uh, from just what he provides to the team. Again, if you're going to solely use him on a Universal Survival Saga team like this one, then you're probably better off just leaving him with more additionals uh, so that he has the chance to additionally raise his defense um, and yeah just overall uh, benefit like a lot uh, so yeah for me uh, he's really really cool uh, I think he's like fantastic uh, along with the other two units I mean you know all three of them are very very good free to play units now uh, especially when they run on a universe 6 or a universal survival saga team uh, and yeah it just means that like every a lot of players now have three super viable options minimum for their universe 6 or their uss teams uh, their super saiyan 2 teams as well uh, all three are perfectly viable on a super saiyan 2 team rapid growth uh, plenty of teams where they are super viable like I said, the nice thing about Kaba is he's not entirely restricted to Universe 6 team, uh, with only 35% crit chance being the biggest thing that you'll miss from not running him on a USS team. Uh, but we will take a look at how he performs on a slightly different team uh, after this one. So once this run finishes, we'll take a look at how he does on a Bond of Master and Disciple team, or a Bond of Master and Disciple Heavenly Events hybrid team. Uh, and we'll get a better idea uh, of how he performs overall and just you know what he brings to the table on those teams and if he's viable on those teams uh, we will see a lesser performance from him but that is kind of expected uh, just considering you know the nature of his passive and everything like that so yeah so we'll try him out on the bond of master and disciple team in this team we're still going to be running the well, we're still going to be running a Pure Saiyan, AGL Super Saiyan Vegeta. Uh, and that should allow us to get the full benefit of his passive with some decent links. Uh, considering he'll have Tournament of Power and things like that, he should have some decent links Saiyan Pride as well. So we'll definitely get a good look there. Now just to start off with, we'll take a look at his defense here. So he's got a bit of support from the Master Roshi, we're sitting about 64,000 defense, which isn't bad, considering it's going to go up by 120%. So we're realistically looking at something like, let's say 140,000, 130,000 defense, which is not too bad. Uh, definitely over 100k. So that means that he's still pretty viable even without a full Universal Survival Saga team to get that full benefit. But you can kind of see how it does have an effect on him overall. 
as a unit if there are not, you know, other units on the team or a lot of other units on the team that are actually Universal Survival Saga units. So that definitely is something to be aware of. At the same time though, uh, it's all pretty straightforward. His attack stat obviously wasn't too high, uh, even though we had some support there. We are missing crucial elements like the pure sands for that 70% attack buff. So yeah, overall still a pretty impressive bunch of numbers there for a free to play unit. Obviously not ideal conditions and that is something that will you know, pretty much guaranteed to affect how he performs. Like he's not going to be completely absolutely uh, busted uh, unless you know you manage to run him uh, with all of the necessary conditions for him to really come out looking strong but like he still looks really really good still functions really really well uh, and yeah just like as we can see here in this situation yeah again no real uh, pure sands or anything on the rotation so a very low attack stat that the biggest differential between his attack stats that we saw previously and the current attack stats is going to be uh, the like pure sands buff that's going to be the biggest determining factor as to whether like he's going to have uh, a high attack stat or not defense will be fine we saw it go down a little bit obviously um, but defense will be fine overall because uh, the defense is not really dependent that much on the things like, you know, things like uh, whether he's got Universal Survival Saga allies or not on the team. Uh, they do benefit his defense, but they're not the be-all and end-all of his defense. So overall, he's pretty good uh, regardless of that situation. It's just going to be whether he's got a pure sand on the rotation that's going to allow his attack stat to kind of be... Uh, you know really really good so it'll be okay um, I still think he's pretty usable uh, you are just going to want to have a pure sand on each rotation to get the necessary damage out of him so if you are running a bond of master and disciple team you are gonna have to go for a more pure sand orientated one or at least have one pure sand on each rotation if you're going to consider running him as a floater Ideally, if you're running him in the second slot, then that's okay as well. Uh, you're just going to want to have to make sure, again, that you are running him with a pure sand partner so that he can really get that full benefit. You can see here uh, the attack stat, obviously, uh, looking, looking a little bit better, uh, which is obviously uh, pretty good, but overall, uh, there is a clear difference when you run him on these kind of teams that are not geared towards making him highlighted. Uh, and that's not to say that he's bad when he's not highlighted, but there is a clear differential. When there's not a pure sand on each rotation, when he doesn't have the full USS lineup, it can definitely affect his performance. But he's still pretty usable as defense, like we said, still sitting around that 120k mark, still pretty good. Not something that's, you know, bad in any way, shape, or form. Uh, so for me, honestly, not so bad. Uh, I think he's really functional as a unit overall. I think he still manages to function, uh, even in these situations where he has, you know, not the uh, perfect conditions to function. But yeah, he definitely is still viable, definitely still does a bit of work for the team uh, which is obviously very good and yeah we just see a very good performance by him so here we can see him with Vegeta uh, we'll see that attack stat really change now because he's finally got the pure sand on rotation which is going to be a very big deal for this this unit uh, if you see here uh, he'll hit yeah immediately exceeds 2 million uh, so it's a it obviously some more links are activated uh, things like tournament of powers and pride are all activated which is great but you can kind of tell um, like he really just benefits from having uh, pure sand on the rotation that's gonna be the the really big determining factor 
uh, for this unit. So yeah, if you are looking to run this guy, if you really do want to run him uh, on teams or anything like that, then yeah, just make sure that you essentially run him with the pure sand because that's going to be the absolute best uh, situation for him in terms of his offense. His defense fluctuates a little bit depending on the USS units, but it's basically a range from around about 120,000 to roughly, you know, um, roughly 200k maybe uh, in certain really good situations. So yeah, overall, uh, honestly, pretty pretty good performance by him. I think out of all of the units, he is probably the the second most uh, versatile slash like sensitive to team build. Uh, we have Kale, who's probably the least sensitive. And then we have Kaba, who's you know relatively sensitive, and then we have Khalifla, who pretty much is designed to be entirely on one team. Uh, so yeah, uh, we'll take a look now at his links, uh, which is, you know, pretty decent, uh, pretty decent links overall, uh, Super Saiyan's pretty solid, uh, Saiyan Pride's okay, Saiyan Lineage is good for Pure Saiyan's and Hybrid Saiyan's teams, Warriors of Universe 6, Tournament of Power, uh, all very consistent links, uh, very consistent linking partners, all really quite fine, uh, in terms of links gives him a decent level of versatility uh, just in terms of you know what teams you can put him on and things like that um, and considering that his passive leaves him that little bit of gap for versatility uh, it's it's pretty good um, I think it's it's really 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 good so um, overall uh, I think um, he's solid he can link with a lot of Vegeta units because of that same pride link uh, which is pretty good uh, he's got a good skill set for Super Saiyan 2 teams with Shattering the Limit and Super Saiyan. Uh, especially Super Saiyan 2 Vegetas, they share like 3 or 4 links with him. Saiyan Lineage means he can link Aurat with Hybrid Saiyans as well. Uh, and some other, you know, other Super Saiyan units. So, yeah, pretty interesting. Um, just overall his link set but a, a very solid link set nothing terrible really really good honestly he links well obviously he links best with the other super saiyan kaba unit he also links pretty well with just other super saiyans from the universe survival saga obviously with the warriors of universe 6 or power super saiyan shattering the limit uh, all of those links can be achieved between him and the other members of the Universe 6 team, which is pretty damn good. Uh, and obviously just gives him a really nice link set for those teams where he is going to be strongest. Uh, so if you are looking for a gap filler, those teams are going to be where he's highlighted the most. Uh, he links really well with AGL, the EZA, AGL, Khalifa, Super Saiyan 2. So that's also a pretty solid option for him or a pretty good running mate for him so you can also run them together as well and they're somewhat decent with Khalifa's ability to stack her defense and her ability to evade she can you know somewhat act in the first slot for him which is pretty good but yeah that's really about it from me guys let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about the cover unit and the units in general otherwise leave a like if you enjoyed the video and i'll see you next time but until then take care stay safe and bye